So our previous video, we compared the Ecobee to Nest, and it's been one of our most popular videos. But man, you guys are brutal in the Savage. comments. Okay, we get it. Nest has some extra sensors now, like uh, Ecobee had. Those sensors came out after we recorded the video. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're doing an update video, and we're actually gonna include the Honeywell as well as the new Wise Smart Thermostat in our comparison. Uh, we're not going to do any installation videos or anything like that, but we're going to talk about our experiences with the thermostats, uh, some common problems that you might run into, and uh, go from there. Colton, why don't you take, kick it off and tell us about your experience with Nest. So we have this one currently in our home and really, really love it. Not only the slick design of it, so it looks very beautiful on the wall, but the functionality of it. My eight-year-old can operate this thing, right? So it's very easy to use. The app is very, very user-friendly. It integrates with Google, obviously. So, you know, if you're sitting in the room and you're just sweating, like the, the heat is on, you can tell Google to turn down your thermostat, uh, which is really nice. So you don't have to get up and walk to the edge of the room. The installation of it was almost seamless. It's pop the old one out, put the wires in, screw it in, pop it in, connect it to your Wi-Fi and connect it to your Google Home and you're up and running. Uh, it was very, very, very nice. So we really like this one. Um, and as Brandon had said, the sensors came out after we did the install and the review. Uh, so we have sensors in our home now, uh, so it can tell, you know, the upstairs is a little cooler, the downstairs is a little warmer, you know, whatever the case may be, and it can adjust according to that. We can put our presets in, we can say like, these are the temperatures we want at certain times, and, and it's a fully automated system. We love it. Yeah, and so Nest obviously is known for being a learning thermostat. Yep. Uh, whereas uh, Ecobee, you know, just setting the times. And then uh, what I like about our Ecobee system, of course, is that it has the auto home and auto away uh, feature. And then uh, these uh, occupancy detection uh, that have the, the temperatures uh, built right into those. And that's been something that we've loved. You know, if I could go back in time, I probably wouldn't buy this particular version. This is the more expensive one. It has a voice assistant built in. Uh, but we have voice assistants throughout our house and so what we found was that this one was actually picking up things when we didn't want it to so i'd say you know play music and then all of a sudden music is coming from this which has a terrible speaker uh, so we actually just disabled the voice portion of it uh, so i probably would have been able to get away with just the eco beat light uh, we have a very basic you know we have a furnace and we have an ac unit here so our wiring isn't overly complicated we don't need any of the other uh, features that you would get with the higher end version so the light would have been just fine uh, but when you go to install your smart thermostat the number one thing that we hear is that uh, I don't have a C wire so the C wire is what provides power to the thermostat uh, and there are a number of different ways you can fix that so uh, Ecobee does include an adapter unit that you can install and you put that on the furnace it wired up on the board and then it, it piggybacks the power and that works great. Uh, our friend uh, Wyatt and his wife Sam, they just installed Honeywell thermostat and they have an older home. They did not have access to a C wire. So he was considering either running the five wire cable from his basement up to where the thermostat is. Uh, but he was looking on YouTube and he found a great solution uh, where you can actually use an outlet. Uh, so what he did was he uh, drilled a hole up by the thermostat, dropped the wires down through there and then uh, another hole near an outlet and he was able to uh, route the wires through the wall that way and provide power from a, a nearby outlet and then he just patched the holes afterwards and looks looks really nice so that's a really good solution and actually smart thermostats are the number one most returned product in the smart home category and it's because of the complex nature uh, so people either are frustrated because they don't have the c wire or they've got a more unique uh, style of heating and cooling in their house and for whatever reason they're not able to get it to work so they end up just returning them. I have a really good friend who installed this Honeywell home thermostat. The big reason why they wanted to get a, a smart thermostat was to get a rebate from their energy company, right? So this is the one that they went with because they like the design, they, they like the functionality of it. Uh, one of the big things that they did like about it is the alerts. Um, it will alert you when it's time to you know, uh, replace your, your furnace filter. Um, you know, if things are, are your humidity or temperature is getting a little high, um, it alerts you so you can make adjustments as you go. Um, this one is very sleek, very nice. Um, it does allow you 
to, like most thermostats, schedule, uh, which is a big thing for people, especially you know now that more people are at home. But even when you're you know going to go out, you don't need to be heating your home as as high as it is. So you can put um, you know schedules in there and adjust within the app, uh, which is very nice for for most folks. Um, next up, I think we're going to talk about the Wise Cam or the Wise thermostat. Yeah, so people really like uh, any smart thermostat really because of that uh, control. So via you know, Wi-Fi, they, uh, you can control it anywhere in the world. So say you're um, on vacation and you're worried that you might have, uh, the heat might be out and your pipes froze or something, you're able to check on that remotely. You can adjust the temperature uh, right before you're about to get home and get that back up so you can come home to a nice warm home. Uh, but Wise did send us this thermostat here, and we've got a friend that's uh, testing it out in his home now. Uh, it's a great affordable option. Wise is really known for uh, taking smart home tech and making it accessible to the masses. So we really like the stuff that they're working on. Um, there was some hiccups with insulation uh, when he went, the physical insulation went really well. It was a breeze for him. Uh, but then when he went to connect uh, to the app, that's where the struggle came in and uh, there was a little bit of frustrations there and we looked online and it sounds like this is a, a known issue uh, that Wise is working on and he was able to connect with support and, and overcome that problem uh, but if you do purchase this, this thermostat you know that might be something you run into but this is a brand new product you know, it just hit the market so I think they're going to work those bugs out um, and we're anxious to get his feedback after he's been using it for a little while longer. I think it's only been a month or so, but I mean, he is able to control the temperature remotely. It has, you know, the scheduling. Uh, so it really, it's taking all the boxes for him. We just had that minor hiccup with the uh, insulation getting it connected. So uh, we are actually going to uh, showcase his home in the future. We've been testing a lot of different Wise products there. And so we'll be able to say, you know, here's a whole home uh, for under a certain amount of dollars is very affordable yeah. and that, that should be fun. So stay tuned for that.